discovering 1111. Oh my gosh. When that first happened to me, it was amazing. And I have a couple of stories I want to tell and I want to help you understand the meaning of the significance, the, the, the synchronicity of 1111. So let's get started. You've heard of the synchronicity before, 1111, and you've probably clicked on this video because you've been sitting around going, why am I seeing this over and over and over again? And maybe you've done a little bit of research already. Maybe this is the very first one. Whatever it is, doesn't matter. I wanna tell you a couple great stories and I wanna just help you understand the basic foundation of 1111 and any number sequence or any synchronicities. So synchronicities are coincidences that are on purpose, right? So if you're used to saying, oh, that was coincidental, oh, that was coincidental, I want you to start saying instead, oh, that was synchronistic, that was synchronistic. Why? Because that gives you an understanding of how the universe works. And the universe works not by chance, but by design. So everything that happens to you, every situation, every opportunity that you have, is based on synchronicity, it's based on design. So when you see number, numerical sequences, for instance, you are witnessing that sort of thing happening. Well, why would number sequences have anything to do with the coincidences of life or the synchronicities of life? You have a spirit team, you have spirit guides, you have your higher self, and you probably have a, an ascended master, a collective, a, a, a past loved one, someone and probably multiple that are here to help you and they're they're guiding you without you even realizing it and you have to understand it and give this a chance right if at first you're saying oh yuck this guy doesn't know what he's talking about this is all crap and you're gonna switch videos don't give it a chance for a second let's imagine that you have this spirit team that's following you around that's always ever present and they're making sure that things work out really well for you and they're communicating with you well, let's say they're communicating with you and they would love to be able to just talk to you, but for some reason they're not able to. Maybe because you don't believe that it's possible. Maybe they are and you're just not able to understand it because of the, the blockages that you have in your mind already. There's, there's so many reasons that you aren't allowing them through, so they have to come up with other methods and other means. Well, what if one of those other methods or means was to get you to look at something? If they were to get you to look at the clock, why would they do that or how would they do that? If they can send you thoughts, then they could send you a thought like, what time is it, right? And you go, oh, what time is it? And you look at the clock and, it, and it's 11.11 and you go, oh, weird. Did I really need to know what time it was? Actually, I kind of didn't. I don't know why I just felt like I needed to know. It's not actually that important. Huh, isn't that interesting? And it was when I looked at the clock, it was 11.11. .11 they'll keep doing this and they're gonna do it and do it and do it because they're trying to say, hey, we've got something for you. Just pay attention. And once you open your mind to it, then all of a sudden, all these possibilities open up. So this, one of the, my favorite stories about this 11-11 synchronicity <laughs> is that I found this Facebook group that was, that's what it was called. It was called 11-11 synchronicity. And I, and I jumped on it one day and there was the first post was, hey, tell the story of your awakening. I'm like, ooh, cool, I love awakening stories. Let's see what this is about. And as soon as I started reading it, I saw the first one. Well, it's because I kept seeing 11.11 so much and I finally looked it up online that it opened up all these possibilities for me. And that's what the next person said and the next person said and the next person said and the next person said. That's what everybody said. I mean, it made sense because it was the, the, the group was called 11.11 Synchronicity, but still, that that many people just kept seeing 1111 over and over again and just that alone made them look online and change their entire lives. So if you think about it, that is for sure your spirit team that is saying, hey, look at the clock. Look right now, it's 1111. Look at this situation. Look at this license plate. Look at this house number. Look at, look at, look at. So, at the very least, yes, you can look it up and see what the angel numbers are. 1111 means this, 222 means this, 333 means that. That's great. And they know that, right? They know that you're gonna look it up and they're gonna give you the number that, that, that corresponds to the definition that you find when you go online. It's totally cool and wonderful and you can do that. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. But what I wanted to explain to you was what's happening. 
So you've probably had other situations too where your spirit guides are talking to you and they're saying, hey, watch out. Like I was driving down the road one time and I was distracted by the radio or, or the, the GPS or something and I wasn't paying as close of attention and I kind of started to veer into the middle lane or into the, into the center of the road with the, the divided line. I started to go over that line and I heard them say, look out. And as soon as I heard that in my head, I looked and I saw that I was veering into the other lane and there was a car coming. So I was able to easily just steer back over. So they're gonna communicate to you in, in so many different ways for so many different reasons. So I really want you to open up your mind to the possibilities that you've got this group that they're just sitting there constantly trying to help you. Another great example, another fun story. I was meditating one time and my, my collective of guides, which is the Hathors, they came to me and they said, hey, you're not using us enough. And I was like, what? What are you talking about? Like, I, I, I use you guys all the time. We're, we're healing people. We're helping people all the time, every day. They're like, no, 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 you don't understand. You can ask for anything you want and we will provide it for you. I was like, what, really? Like, but I don't need anything. I love everything exactly as it is. I have a fantastic experience here being a human. I have positive days and negative days and I have people that are suffering that I'm helping and other people in my life that are suffering that I can't help because they're my family. Whatever it is, I'm totally okay with it. I don't need anything to change. And they still were insistent. They said, no, 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 you don't understand. You can totally lean on us. We trust in you and that you have the highest good in mind. I'm like, wow, okay. Well, that's very nice of you, thank you. And so I said, okay, fine. In my previous to my awakening, I had invested in some real estate. And so at the time I was trying to sell it because I didn't want to be in that world anymore. So I had a property on the market. It had been on the market for a couple of weeks and, and nobody had looked at it. Nobody had given me any offers or anything. So I was thinking, okay, fine. If you guys want to give me anything I want, then here, make sure this property sells. And they said, you'll have an offer by the, the weekend. And the next day I had an offer and it was a fantastic, great offer. I accepted it right away. And it was the easiest property closing that I had ever been involved in. So all you have to do is open yourself up to the possibilities that you are being supported by this fantastic spirit team that have got your back everywhere. And 1111 is just one of the many ways that they're communicating with you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please ask any questions you might have below. Uh, like and subscribe and all that jazz so that you can help other people find this video and find other things. If, you have, if, if you're new to the channel, there's tons of activations and other helpful healing experiences, insights and, and energy healing that you can access by, by taking a look at the rest of the channel and the rest of my videos. At the time of this recording, I'm almost up to 100 and just doing more every single week. So thank you so much for watching, uh, for, for participating, for, for being an incredible being of light on this planet at this time. You are amazing. I love you unconditionally. And I'll see you in the next video.